start off with my bikes. So the reason why we built this van was to be able to travel all around the country, riding bikes, adventuring to new bike parks, new places, and to be able to bring everything with me, all my bikes, all my gear, and everything else I need to pretty much live. One of the trips that I realized that van was an absolute game changer was going to Colorado. I had a trail bike to ride all the local trails, and then I had my enduro bike to hit up all the mountain bike parks. And then when I was really exhausted from riding all those days, I got to ride the e-bike. I had all three bikes and it was amazing. So these are the bikes. Let me show you where I put them. So I keep the garage secure with one of these Thule locks. All right, so my parents and I decided to put one of these fabrics with Velcro to make it all closed up and you can't see inside. This is the garage. The slide out holds 500 pounds and we've installed these bike mounts to put all the bikes on. The bikes into the van we have to take off the front tires and mount the forks onto the mount on the slide out. So Rocky Mounts makes these mounts and we decided to go with these mounts because they have built-in locks to them and it's just another extra security for the bikes to be inside the van. So some people make these builds so that they don't have to take off the front tires when they pack the bike in the van, which makes it a lot easier. But if I did that, then my bed would have been so much higher and I personally wanted the bed to be at a good height and be able to store all the bikes in nicely. This is my Enduro bike. It's the bike that I use at pretty much all the bike parks. It's got a little more travel. We put a 180 fork onto it. Having this thing slide out all the way makes it so much more convenient for us to load up the bikes too. So another thing we decided when choosing this van was to have no back windows. And it just kind of made it a little safer, more secure for me because when I have all these bikes in here, I didn't want anybody to see inside. So the last step for this is I strap the tires down to this little side part right here. Just like that. This is where all the bikes go, but while we were building the van, I wanted to be able to bring everything with me. That's the whole point of the van. So I told my mom I wanted to store all the bike stuff out here so nothing would get dirty. So I have everything here with me. I have my half shell helmet for trail riding, a full face helmet for bike parks. I've got extra gear like grips. I got my shoes, my clip shoes, my flat pedal shoes, and all up there is my pads and everything else I need for trail riding and bike parks. outdoor Thule bike rack and this is for if I have friends that travel with me I can put their bikes there. So that's how I travel in the van with all my stuff but sometimes I have to fly to places and packing for that is a whole different story. travel by van with all my bike stuff. I'm going to show you today how I travel with one bike by plane. So my friends back at home always ask me how I travel with my bike. This is how I travel with the bike by plane. So we have the Thule bike bag which is really sturdy. It's always good to be protective of my bike and the frame. It's got extra handles here which is great. Also this handle here. And it opens up like this. We've got a full cover that fully goes around the bike. Another cool feature is it has a built-in bike stand. Alright, so this stand makes it 10 times easier to work on the bike, take it apart, and easily put it into the bag. 
You know what I mean? So it's always a good idea to take off the derailleur when you're traveling because it always gets bumped around. You don't want it to break. But the Thule bag comes with a bag that you can put it in so it protects it while you travel too. And it tucks right inside, holds it together, you're not losing anything. Beautiful. So now that we have the wheels and the handlebar off, we just unhook that. Slide that right in. Boom. Done. Then you have, so I used to have to, like, I used to put bubble wrap and towels all throughout my bike when I used to travel. This goes right here around the fork, which is amazing. It protects it. So the handlebars go right here, and you Velcro them on stays nice and tight so they're not moving around just like that the rear tire goes right in here slides right in gets tightened down doesn't move around so we got another little protective wrap right there then we got the front tire now that the bike's all packed up I fill in all the spaces with my gear so we got extra tires, my helmet. Perfect spot. Boom, look how that fits. Got some extra grips. All right, everything. <laughs> One more big, big thing that this was like another absolute game changer. So, usually, you just go like this, right? You pull it up, you walk through the airport like this, but this has a built-in extra little wheel. So easy. <laughs> Boom. You can just push it just like this. And then have another bag. All right, so this is it. This is how I travel with my bike and my bike bag by plane with all the essentials that I need. Yesterday you all saw how I travel in the van with everything as well and all the bikes. Two very different ways of traveling but all for mountain bike trips. What's up everyone? Hope you all enjoyed that video. I know it was a little different than my usual videos but hopefully it helped out a couple of you traveling during these holidays by plane or by your van. And if you enjoyed this video and want more, please hit that subscribe, comment, share, like, do all those incredible things. I would greatly appreciate one. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. And if you have not yet, get out and ride your bike. Catch you on the next video, everyone.